You know what? I was so clueless. Like my only link to fashion in the 70s was, you know, TV. Like Ginger on Gilligan's Island. She rocked. She was to me like the sexiest woman I'd ever seen. Cher. She was my idol in the 70s. I wanted to be her in every way. I grew my hair out. I curled it when she curled it. I straightened it when she straightened it. I made clothes to look exactly like hers. I would lay on our family piano and sing. <laughs> it's true. The 80s was when I really sort of blossomed in my fashion life because um, there were like two camps and one was the women imitating men in their, you know, in their dress with like big bad shoulder pads and power hair and power everything and goofy bows on things and suits with sneakers and, um, and then there was sort of like the punk, more like the, you know, early Madonna phase. That's really what I was going through at the time. Lots of lace and I think I even might have worn headbands, I'm not sure. Lots of rubber. I think I actually made something out of a hefty bag once and wore it out, I don't know. Well, the 90s seems like it was really um, when women got to be more glamorous and have a little bit more freedom and um, be sort of more girly about their look and um, definitely the era of celebrity dressing. It, it was interesting in the 90s how um, fashion people were using actors to sell their wares and actors were sort of using fashion to sell their wares and everybody seemed pretty happy about it. I think sort of the whole idea of designers becoming celebrities, that all happened in the 90s too. It was funny that Everybody wanted to see how designers lived and entertained and, you know, it seems like it's sort of not so much like that anymore. It's more um, important that your work is valid and important. American fashion has this spirit that maybe you don't find anywhere else. So many designers have crossed over now and gone to work in Europe or vice versa. I think it's really I think it's really exciting that it's all kind of become one community. My advice would be well there's the famous Winston Churchill quote, never give up, never give up, never give up. And um, be thankful for everything. You know, people think fashion is frivolous and I just think it's more that we're creating things. You know, you do it because you have to and because it makes you feel good and I guess you just hope that it makes other people feel good too.